Hi, uh, my name is Cheryl Gordon. I'm a yoga therapist and I wanted to share with you today something really quick that you can do to really help improve the function of your knee. So I'm going to just go over to my mat here. You'll notice that I've got a blanket set out just to kind of cushion my body. I'm working on a hardwood floor so I want to make sure I've got some cushion here. And all you really need is a roll of blanket to help you with this. You can also use a rolled up yoga mat, a pool noodle works pretty good, a rolled up beach blanket, any of those things work pretty good. So I want to create like a bit of a noodle shape with my blanket or my prop. And then I'm just going to lie it across the mat. And I'm going to take my legs out just like this. So you might need more propping underneath your tushy in order to be comfortable. So what I want to do is focus on a, a muscle here uh, called the vastus medialis. And it's one of your quadricep groups. And it's the one that kind of goes down the, 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 the front of the thigh here. So I'll just kind of show you up a little bit more closely here what muscle I'm talking about. So it's kind of right, right here. It's in the front of your thigh. So there's my kneecap. And I'm moving up about an inch from the kneecap. And I'm kind of on the inside edge of the leg. Not the inseam of my pants, but the medial side of the leg, as we would say. So let me get back into position here. And let's get right into the exercise and then I'll explain a little bit more about why you might want to do this. We're going to do this about 10 times, not at 100% power, uh, but just to kind of get us, uh, get us activated in this muscle. So from here, if you work with your happier leg first, we're going to do it on both legs, even though you might only have one knee that's sore, work on the happier leg first. So up to here's the kneecap. I'm going to move up, like I said, about an inch from the kneecap and then move in, medially in. And then just kind of feeling right here. And your knee is a bit bent here because it's over the prop. As I exhale, I'm going to push down on the back of the knee into the prop and see if I can feel this muscle fire. And then release. And then exhale, push, and inhale, release, and exhale, push. So continuing that for about 10 breaths, not too fast, not too hard. Good. And so the reason you might want to try this is because this is the muscle that really is responsible for helping you straighten your knee uh, from a bent position to a straight position, that last 20 degrees of extension. Good. I think that's about 10 breaths. I got talking and I forgot. So let's do the other side. This might be your sore knee, so you might need to be a little bit more tender. So from the kneecap, move up about an inch in a little tiny bit, and then press down as you exhale. Inhale, relax. So working with that, about 10 breaths. So what happens is when this muscle isn't as strong as the other quadricep muscles, and we have basically four, actually I heard rumors of five now, uh, muscles in the quadricep group, when this muscle is not as strong, which typically it isn't, it can affect the tracking of the kneecap or the patella and cause pain in your knee. So this is just one of the things that you can do to help improve the function of your knee. Um, we have lots of videos on the website that might help you with other exercises. Um, and there's also uh, a course coming up, a uh, hip and knee, um, that you might look in our library to find. But I hope that helps. Something really fast, really simple. And uh, you know what, repeating that morning and night for about a week or so should really start to give you a lot more uh, help with this. And if you have any questions, of course, you just go ahead and email or text or uh, reach out. Love to talk to you. Have a good day.